So you've set up sound alerts for your stream, but you can't hear your alerts or your viewers can't hear your alerts or both you and your viewers can't hear your alerts. Da, 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 da. Are you guys also not hearing that? <laughs> Let me show you how to fix this problem on both OBS and Streamlabs so you and your viewers can hear all of your sound alerts while you stream. The very thing I want you to do first is check your alert settings. So from your sound alerts dashboard, select my alerts and just make sure that all of your alerts here in extension, channel points and other alerts is toggled on. What I mean by that, let's navigate down to chicken attack and see how the volume here, it's at zero. It's non-existent. Let's turn that up. Make sure all of your alerts are up to their full volume or that they are toggled on. These are all disabled to show you that it won't work. So we just toggle these ones on. That may sound pretty obvious, but you'll be surprised how that one check of everything can fix a few issues. Next, let's make sure that Sound Alerts is indeed connected to your broadcasting software. From the Sound Alerts dashboard, select Settings and Setup. Follow the steps for whichever broadcasting software you use. We'll go through the troubleshooting steps for OBS first. So I'll select I use OBS and here are some prompts to follow. If you have connected Sound Alerts to OBS, it will look like this here in Sound Alerts and like this in your OBS. Back here in the settings page, play a test alert. And you'll see the audio levels here in OBS. This movement means that Sound Alerts is connected to your broadcasting software, OBS. Now let's go through OBS to make sure that you and your viewers can hear the alerts. By default, as soon as you have added sound alerts into your OBS, as soon as you have connected sound alerts into your broadcasting software, and it looks like this, this sound is automatically played out of your computer settings. The first thing I recommend you do is looking at your actual computer settings. So out of OBS, let's go check those out. The computer or laptop that I use for streaming is an Alienware laptop. so alien built-in speakers it's what is coming out of right now we're focusing on you the streamer here in your audio so however you want to hear these sound alerts coming through while you're streaming this is where you're going to choose those settings personally i use these headphones here and now that i've plugged them in they have appeared here so i would select this one now back in obs when we played the test alert from sound alerts i can't hear them coming from my computer speakers but I can hear them coming from my headphones. So yeah, whatever it is that you, the streamer, use to hear your gameplay, your sound alerts, what have you, select it from this drop down list here. Now the next thing I want you to do, click on settings, navigate to audio, and scroll down until you come across the advanced box, monitoring device. Now you know how we selected from the drop down list in PC settings, what it is you wanna hear your audio through from sound alerts, the headphones, or your speakers, whatever the choice. We want what you selected to match OBS. You want your PC settings to match OBS. So we're gonna select the exact same thing here. As you know, I use my little headphones. So I'm going to select headphones. And once that's down, select apply and okay. Real quick, something to note, if you use a third party software such as voice meter, we recommend you disable it because disabling those audio tools that emulate audio sources ensures that sound alerts and your streaming software is running smoothly. But if you do insist on using those third party softwares, be sure to check the settings so they don't mute or disrupt your sound alerts or any of your audio sources for that matter. Back to setting this up. Now, when I go back into sound alerts and play the test alert, the audio level shows that the audio is being played and I can hear it. Not only will you be able to hear it yourself, you can also see it being played. But what about our viewers? We need them to hear the alerts too. So back into OBS, navigate to advanced audio settings. Either select these three dots here and click on advanced audio properties or this little gear icon will take you straight there as well. Advanced audio properties. Here you'll see sound alerts and how we monitor the audio. Monitor is just us listening to it. If we selected monitor off, we're not gonna be able to hear the audio at all, nor is our audience. Monitor only will be able to hear the audio, but our audience won't. Monitor and output will be able to hear the audio and our audience slash viewers will be able to hear the audio as well. So make sure that this is on monitor and output. By adjusting these settings, we've made sure that we, the streamers, can hear the audio as well as your viewers too. Of course, if you jump back into the sound alerts, click play test a lot again. Rest assured that you can hear the audio and your viewers will as well. Side note, good rule of thumb, 
make sure the audio is hidden somewhere between the green and the yellow. Look, I've got it right now when I speak. If I were to turn it up, I start peaking, it's too loud. The same's going to apply for a sound alert. Let me turn up really high, play a test alert, and you can see what happens when I turn it down. Make sure it sits around here somewhere. Finally, a little tip that I want to show you. If you're streaming and sound alerts just stops working for some bizarre reason, and this goes for anything you've added to OBS, it's a little tip. Double click on the browser source. You can quickly refresh the browser source here in OBS to reconnect your sound alerts at a click of a button. There we go, that is sound alerts all set up in your OBS so you and your viewers can hear alerts played on your stream. If you use Streamlabs, it is a very similar process. Let's set that up now. Let's make sure your sound alerts are in your broadcasting software. This page here is in settings and then under setup. And for Streamlabs, select I use something else. Copy the URL. And in your Streamlabs software, select the plus icon. It is a browser source, add source, name it sound alerts, and then paste the URL here. And be sure to tick control audio via Streamlabs desktop. Once that's done, it will look like this in your Streamlabs. Now over in your audio mixer, select the little gear icon to open up properties. Across in the global settings, we're focusing here on audio monitoring device. In this drop down list, Change the device from default to whatever it is that you want to hear the audio from. If you use headphones while you stream, select your headphones in the drop down list. If you have them playing out loud, select your computer's speakers, etc, etc. Let's say you use your computer's speakers to hear the alerts, so select your computer's speakers. I use an Alienware laptop, so I'll select Alien built-in speakers. Now close this and go back to sound alerts. And when you play the test alert, you'll be able to hear it through the speakers that you just selected or the headphones. What Whatever it is that you use and it'll also be represented on that audio level bar this is what i mean perfect i could hear it and it also appeared here in the audio level bar now let's make sure that your audience your viewers can hear the alert too back in the advanced audio properties open up sound alerts and here you'll want to select monitor and output which means you and your viewers will hear the audio you are monitoring the sound so that's monitor and your viewers are hearing it that's output monitor and output is both you and your viewers can hear the audio and therefore the alerts usually if your viewers can't hear your audio it's because you've selected monitor only so that's why we want it to be monitor and output and be sure to slide this volume up and down until it's at a good level. A general rule of thumb, you don't want it hidden around here somewhere. See my microphone at the moment, how it's in between the green and the yellow? That's a pretty good place. We want the same for the sound alerts. If it goes into the red, that is far too loud. And that is nice and easy through Streamlabs. Now you and your viewers can hear your sound alerts. There you go, your sound alerts will now be playing for you and your viewers during stream. Linked below are our blogs and more step-by-step -step guides for further in-depth tutorials if you would like to check those out too. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below so we can help you and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more tutorials.